What's up, everyone? My name is Soren. I'm from Sure. I'm here today to talk to you about the MV7 and three ways you can use it for pretty much anything you're doing. So whether you're podcasting, recording music, gaming, streaming, whatever you're doing, I'm going to show you how to get it set up. Give you a tour of the app and the microphone features. Let's dive in. This is our Sure Plus Motive desktop app. It's available for Mac and PC, and it's the only way to get the full potential out of your MV7. So the first of the three things I'm gonna show you today is called auto level mode. Auto level mode is awesome because it only takes two clicks to get set up for whatever you're doing. So we recommend near mode, which is part of auto level, uh, for any usage between zero and six inches. So that's for you podcasters who wanna get up on the microphone and get that warm, rich broadcast tone. That's uh, for you uh, voiceover recorders. If you're making content for your YouTube channel, maybe it's a DIY video, have the microphone do the work for you, click near and you're done. Uh, the only other choice you have is for tone and I can show you what those sound like here. So this is what my voice sounds like in near natural. Uh, we're not doing a whole lot to it sound wise. I kind of sound like me, right? So as I switch over to the dark mode, you should hear the low end bump up pretty significantly. Uh, I should sound more like a movie voiceover type of a, a big warm broadcast type sound. And as I go over to the bright, you should hear it's what we call tilt the other way. Instead of the bass being up top, the sort of mid and top range are elevated a little bit. Uh, it's a lot more clear. It focuses more on clarity and what I'm saying. And again, back to natural, just to sort of complete the loop. There's no wrong answers here. This is your content and you're in control of your sound. We just want to give you a couple really easy ways uh, to both experiment with some different sounds and then use those in your content. Okay, the second way to use our MV7 is in far mode. Still in auto level, but it's far. So as you can guess, that means your microphone is farther away from your face. So we recommend far mode to be anywhere between six and 18 inches. Far mode is great for any time that you need a little bit of breathing room away from your microphone. So say you're hosting a podcast that is also being filmed and you just want your microphone a little bit farther away out of the shot. Uh, say you're gaming or streaming. Uh, say you're like me and you like to talk with your hands and you just need a little bit of room, right? And then you have your same three tonal settings, but they sound a little bit different. So let's check those out. Here is what natural mode sounds like in far. And as I switch over to dark, you should hear a lot of that low end content come up again. And then bright mode tilts it back the other way to have more mid range, more clarity, and then we'll finish back at natural mode just so you can hear how those modes go. So the third and final way to use your MV7 is called manual mode. Unlike auto level mode, there's a lot more controls here because this is for those of you who, who either have a little bit more experience, you know what you're doing, or you're looking for something really specific, or you don't want uh, any of the automatic stuff that happens with auto level mode because you're gonna edit, edit it yourself later. I'll show you a couple different settings that manual mode can offer. Uh, microphone gain is definitely the most important. This is also kind of known as mic volume. This is how much signal comes from your microphone into your recording. Whatever software you're recording into, make sure you're getting a nice strong level on your meter. And the way you do that is by changing this microphone gain slider right here, right? So as I talk louder, I'll want less gain. If I talk quiet, I want more gain to compensate for that. So there's not a fixed setting for gain that will vary pretty much every time you do a recording. Monitor mix is if you're using the headphone jack on the back of the MB7, monitor mix controls what you hear and you can blend between two things. The side called microphone is your microphone. Um, one great feature about the MB7 is it's real time headphone output. So if I talk into it, I hear exactly what my audience or my recording is hearing in real time without any latency or delay. The other side, is called playback, and that's what's coming back from my computer. So say I'm doing a vocal overdub, I, uh, I recorded an acoustic guitar and now I wanna sing over it. Um, this control will let me hear how much of my acoustic guitar track I hear versus my microphone when I sing over it. The EQ settings on the manual mode are a bit of a shout out to the MV7's big brother, the SM7B, an absolute legend in the world of podcasting and streaming. The SM7B has a couple of switches on the back. They look just like this, and let me show you what they do. Flat mode 
is a straight line, meaning we're not changing the EQ at all. There is no processing happening at all. High pass uh, is also known as a low roll off. That can be like your heater or air conditioner. That can be traffic in the distance. That can be all sorts of low rumbly stuff. Um, you usually don't need it and you don't want it. So this is a really quick, easy way to just get rid of it. The presence boost uh, is kind of like our bright settings in auto level mode. It's all about uh, intelligibility. It's all about clarity. It grabs some of that mid range and just pulls it forward. And then of course we have high pass and presence boost. So this is if you like that added clarity and you don't want any of that super low rumbly stuff in your recording, just use them both. And then back to flat mode so you can hear the differences there. The limiter at the bottom is a simple on off control. When you put it on, you won't hear any difference unless you get very close to clipping or distorting, then the limiter kicks on and it'll help control that level, uh, preventing a clip or some distortion. All the way at the bottom is a compressor. What a compressor does is takes your dynamic range, which is the difference between your loudest signal and your quietest signal and compresses it to uh, a couple different degrees here. This is what the MV7 sounds like with no compression. When I switch the light compressor on, you'll get a little bit of squeeze and start heading that direction, but it's fairly subtle. In medium, you can really start to hear it and feel it more, right? It kind of gets more towards in your face, a little bit more compressed, uh, a little denser, so to speak. And as we go into the heavy, we are definitely in heavy compression land now, where if you're doing a voiceover, if you're doing a movie trailer, something like that, you want that huge sound that you'd find on your radio. Heavy compression is the, is the way to get that done. And then back to compressor off, just so you can hear the whole cycle there. So that was three ways to use the MV7 for podcasting, recording, gaming, streaming, what have you. Uh, I encourage you to experiment. There's, like I said, there's no wrong answers, right? Whether it's auto level near, far, or manual mode, one of those three things can get you quickly dialed in so you can focus on your content and not tweaking your microphone. Thanks so much for hanging out. My name's Soren from Sure, and this has been three ways to use your MV7.